Excellencies, it's an honor to participate in the Leaders' Dialogue on Africa, COVID-19 and the climate emergency. I'm sorry I cannot join you in person. Africa made great progress in the last two decades with good reform programs and a relatively strong showing in terms of economic growth, along with landmark agreements such as the African Continental Free Trade Area. Yet, climate change and the current COVID-19 pandemic pose serious challenges that threaten to set the continent back. Parts of the continent are already warming much more quickly than the average, and droughts are becoming more frequent. Farmers and fishermen are hurting. We are seeing people pushed back into poverty. Yet Africa remains a continent with immense opportunities. If we act now to contain the pandemic, deal with the serious debt burdens and work on plans and tools, to tackle climate change. To defeat the pandemic, we must reverse the present global inequity in vaccine access, the greatest road to economic recovery, and the best fiscal stimulus is access to vaccines. At the WTO, we are working hard to ensure unfettered supply chains, scale up of vaccine manufacturing on the continent with transfer of technology and know-how. We are also working to ensure that trade within and outside Africa plays its part in the economic recovery. We shall support the implementation of the African Continental Free Trade Area, whose rules are modeled on that of the WTO. We shall also support African entrepreneurs and their micro, medium and small enterprises to join regional and global value chains. With respect to climate change, Africa's carbon emissions at 3% are the least in the world, yet the continent suffers greatly from the vagaries of climate change, droughts, floods, pests, which all lead to displacement of our population. I saw so much of this during my five years as chair of the African Union's African Risk Capacity. Let me seize this opportunity to congratulate our leaders on creating this important organization to help manage the impact of climate change. Africa is commodity and fossil fuel dependent for its exports, and this exposes the continent to the volatility of the international marketplace. As the world reduces its dependence on fossil fuels, African countries on the road to COP26 must ask for a just transition. A period of time, several decades, sufficient to move economies to more climate-friendly technologies and the ensuing job opportunities. Investment and trade in key environmental goods and services can make climate adaptation much more affordable for Africa. The challenge of climate change and COVID-19 also bring opportunities, opportunities to invest in new technologies or to manufacture our own drugs and vaccines on the continent. Let us not miss out on these opportunities. Let's act now to ensure a better future for Africa. And as we do so, let's make sure we leave no one behind. Thank you.